Hello, YouTube. Alright. So I'm going to try and get this video up before I go bowling, so forgive me if it seems a bit rushed. Um, a YouTuber by the name of Gemini600A6 did a video about how many subscribers did a video where he was confused about he has X amount of subscribers, like almost 500 or excuse me, 5,000 sorry Gemini and yet he gets like 2,500 views, 800 or whatever in some cases this got me thinking about um subscribers and their view counts on some of their videos okay so let's take a look at someone that I'm actually subscribed to and I, don't, I hate I hate picking on these guys but we're gonna pick a bit memoirs alrighty and the reason we're gonna pick them is because I think they have something like nine uh, it's almost like not. It's almost like a thousand subscribers, I think it is. Yeah, they're like close to nine hundred. Anyway, we're going to use three of their videos for this example. Streets of Rage, three, part four of eleven has one hundred thirty-one views. Earthbound, part fifty-five has one hundred and twenty. And let's see here. Gauntlet NES Part 4 of 4 has 140. Now, I know what everybody's thinking. Well, that's a lot of views, isn't it? It is, but here's the problem. Give me a sec. Here's the problem. I'm sorry. They have 816 subscribers. Now, let's again look at the view counts. If you have a video and you have 800 some odd subscribers, but you can only clip out, you can only get maybe less than 200. This tells you one of two things. Either you don't put out the content that people want to watch, which isn't right because you know people know when they subscribe to your channel from day one what you're putting out, hopefully. And that all those people, the majority of those people, are what you call fake subscribers. Now, Here's my thing, right? I have actually looked through some of my old videos. I have videos that get like some of my random videos, like really random, like when I first started, have close to a hundred views. And it, they may have a bunch of comments, but some of them are me replying to other people's comments. Um, and in some cases, I have no comments because I clean them the hell up. But see, here's the thing, right? And I want people's opinions on this because a uh, YouTube source also did a video about this. It says you can people go over oh, 800 some odd subscribers. No, you don't really have that many. He said, do this. Look up. But look at your subscribers or put, post a video and let it go for three days that one video for three days and see how many views you actually get that number is the number of people that regularly watch your videos that's the way he explains it and it's in I'm trying to remember which video he did that in it was towards the end of part three into part four of his random bullshit video. So, 
go look it up. Go look up YouTube source random BS, and go watch part three into part four. We'll go watch the whole thing because it's funny as hell. Um, yeah, shameless plug, dude. Uh, <laughs> cause the point, the, the, the point is, there's people that have a lot of subscribers. Then you go and look at two things, specifically, your view count on the video, and while it's not so much a big deal, it doesn't hurt, go look at your comments. Because it kind of gives you an idea of what your content is actually doing on this website. You know, there's people that can look at it and go, you know, holy shit, this is great stuff. And then about a billion other people start watching it. Like, go look up the, the John Stewart Crossfire clip. That has about 2 million, uh, I believe, um, views on this very website. 2,927,847. Alright? Now think about that for a second. The YouTuber has exactly 209 subscribers. So, that's one of the rare cases where here's your subscriber count way down here, here's your view count way the fuck up here. You know, it's like, go look at, go look at people like Fred and leave Brittany alone. Chris Crocker, that whiny little she-male. By the way, I've never watched one of his videos, but I um, guarantee it from what I hear, he's a fucking obnoxious little twat. Anyways, if y'all want to comment on this video, be my guest, because I want to hear your theories on it. I mean, because it is kind of an interesting little parallel how people have can have this many subscribers, and this many views at times, and it's like, you sit there and you go, huh? Like, and by the way, this is not me trying to have an ego, do an ego stroking, but it's like, I looked up, uh, oh God, let's go to it again real quick. I looked up 8-Bit Memoirs when they put up the video I did with them. Versus the video they did, and like the video I did for whatever reason with them, and I'm not even sure why, Dave. So th th that just goes to show how fickle YouTube is. The video we did almost had a hundred views within like I don't know, less than it was less than a day. The video. Charles and him did alone had 50. Barely. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Yeah. I try to figure YouTube out, and the more I think I've got, gotten close to an answer, the more YouTube changes the fucking question on me. So, here's what I want from you guys. What I want your theories on subscribers versus view counts and there's the phone and that's probably my buddy so I'm gonna wrap this up but you all have a good day and I'll see you later tonight